Today we're showing you how to stain a charcuterie board using four different concentrations and three different woods. So we'll pick up a, our beach charcuterie board first and we're going to stain it with the two tablespoons of ground coffee with one ounce of boiling water. Now we're going to try it on the maple. And last we'll try it on ash. And you can see we have three different stains and stain looks. We will let this dry and then we'll wipe it off and you'll see how dark or light the stain is on the wood. It's going to be four tablespoons of ground coffee and three ounces of boiling water. And again, we're gonna do it on our beach. And we do try to stain with the grain Now we'll try it on our maple. And last we'll try it on the ash. And we'll let those dry. Third staining is with a double shot of espresso. We're going to start with the beach. We'll try it on maple. And we will stain the ash. And let those sit. Last stain is with a tea bag in two ounces of warm water and we let it sit for about a half hour to get kind of dark and we'll try it on the beach. On the maple. And lastly, on the ash. And we'll let those sit. Words are now dry with the, the coffee and tea stains, but we want to make them a little darker. So we're gonna show you how to do that. Go back over the same spot with, on all three boards, As you can see, the stain did a little bit, but we've decided we want it darker. So we're gonna show you how we make it darker. We added a little bit of the coffee grounds to our leftover espresso to make it much thicker and much darker. And we're going to, as you can see, look at how much that does. And don't worry if there's coffee grounds in there because those will wipe off after they dry.
and we'll let that dry. These are the boards after we've stained them all. And as you can see, the one that's the darkest was the two tablespoons of ground coffee and the ounce of water in which we added a few extra coffee grounds and three applications. So when you want your board to darken up a little and you don't want the light color that you started with, this would be a good um, alternative to a light board. We're gonna let these completely dry. We're gonna sand them out because the, the grain has raised a little bit with the water and then we will show you what the finished product is.